Alvarado and I'm here today on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to do a rainbow fish face painting tutorial for you. All right, let's get started. I'm going to begin by taking a three quarter inch square brush and putting a lot of shimmery blue paint on my face. I'm also going to use a sponge to blend it together. I'll be using a blue tag split cake. It's very shimmery as well as a dark um, metallic by Diamond FX. And I'm just going to blend them together on the same brush. So I'm just going up and down loading my brush and then I'm going to add a little bit of dark blue to that just by rubbing that brush onto the dark blue color. All right, I'm going to take this, lay it on my eyelid and sweep it out and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come out of the bottom of my eye area as well and just bring that color underneath. It's getting a little lighter down there, which is just fine. I like how that looks. I'm going to load my sponge now with those um, lighter colors from the Tag Split Cake, and I'm just going to blend this all together. Fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my fish. I'm going to start by making the fins, and then I'm going to make the center of his body. I'm going to use a Pearl Split Cake by Tag. It's a rainbow one to make the fins of my rainbow fish. And I'm going to be using the um, pink, purple, and blue this time. Of course, if you wanted to do this design for um, a boy who didn't want pink or purple um, for whatever reason, you can use orange, yellow, and green, or for a girl, whichever. Um, I'm going to load this by just moving up and down the same way I do every time I use my three-quarter inch square so I can keep the colors really separate and bold. And now I'm going to make some fins. I'm going to make the top fin, which is kind of um, just a very simple shape. We're going to put the brush down flat, come up, and slowly curve, kind of like you're making a rainbow shape, and then just sweep away to the side like that. And overlap your dark blues, and just bring that up so they meet in that point, like so. Very simple. All right. Now I'm going to make the side fins, and I'm just going to do that by kind of making a triangular shape where the small point is in the center. So I'm going to go out with my brush and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Okay, so now I've got my side fins. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the body of the fish using the same colors. And I'm going to just make the best oval I can. I'm using the lightest color on the top here. Then I'm flipping my brush so I can get the nice dark blue on the bottom. That way I get the little bit of shadow on there right away. Now using the same brush and the same colors to kind of just bring another element to the design, I'm going to make a couple little fins in the eye area of this design. So just make your fins. You can use the dark color on the outside if you want. That'll give you a nice sort of outline look. Yep, just made a few little sort of flower petal -y shapes more than anything else. And they can be fins or crustaceans or whatever you like. Okay, fantastic. Now, um, before I start adding my detail, I need to do some highlighting. So I'm going to use a number five round brush, and I'm going to load it with white paint. Now, I'm just going to do my best here. We're going to paint a lot of detail later, so don't worry too much about this. I'm just adding some highlights to the top fin. Some highlights to the side fins. And all my highlights are, are um, little teardrops. Really simple, basic shape. I use that. I'm going to highlight the head very delicately. And you can blend that down a little bit. And I'm going to make a little highlight where I'm going to put the eyes. And that's going to fade into the paint a bit, but I'm still going to blend it down just a little because all I'm trying to do is highlight 
really delicately because fishes are underwater and um, and the highlights should be pretty delicate, I think. Okay, this is really pretty. This Prisma cake is one of my favorites. It's called Flesh. And I'm going to load my dauber by going up and down over the dark blue and the sort of aquamarine green color and just a tiny bit of the purple. And I'm going to use this to make bubbles. Now, how I make bubbles using this is I actually just push down really delicately, tap my fingers very lightly, and make a circular shape. So I got kind of a rainbow bubble effect happening. Here we go. And now I'm going to make some small bubbles just using the teeniest dauber I have. And I'm going to just use mostly this light, light um, shade with just a little bit of blue on it so that um, I don't get too much of a shadow. I get lots of light. So I just make some little bubbles by pushing your dauber down. Here we are, a little bubble right there. Little bubbles around a fish. Okay, so I've got lots of bubbles. I've got rainbow bubbles. I've got tiny blue and turquoise bubbles. Lots of stuff going on here. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some dots to make the bubbles pop even more. And then we're going to get into the really um, the finer details. In fact, I'm also going to make the circles that are going to become my fish's eyes pretty soon. And just make them as even as you can. Um, now for the bubbles, which are just going to be the little white dot parts of the bubbles. So I'm just going to put these around everywhere. It's pretty simple. Just get your number five round brush really, really saturated with white paint and make sure that the end of it is um, nice and rounded so that you can make really round circles on your face. And just put them amongst the other bubbles. Okay, so we've got our dots all finished up. And now it is time for the detail, the shading and um, the dark outlines and things. Um, this is actually inspired by a painting I saw of Finding Nemo online, which I think is a really cute fish. Um, unfortunately, I'm not um, a Disney artist, so I can't paint Nemo very good. But I'm just going to make a really cute sort of cartoony, happy fish. Um, I'm going to start by kind of just outlining the bottom of his face. Like so. Your outline doesn't have to be super duper um, perfect. That's totally understandable. And in fact, if you like a little bit of a shadow, you can use these nice round daubers to kind of create some shading by just rubbing the edge of it. Okay, and now I'm going to do the top of the fish really lightly because I want that highlight to show up really light. And this is a number two round brush. And now what I'm going to use is um, this cool stencil that gives me a great little, um, it's like a lizard print sort of, but I am going to use it to make um, some fish shapes on my, my fins. And I'm going to use, you can use a silver or a gold if you want to do this. Um, get, I'm going to use the smallest part and I'm going to turn it the shape of the fin. And then I'm just going to tap, tap, tap on top. Just a little, just to give it that design. And there's that fish design. I'm going to do the same thing on each fin on the side. Yeah, it gives it a little more of a fishy dimension. All right, now back to that number two black liner brush. We're going to outline these fins now. Just go over the top really delicately. All right, so there's his top fin, and now I'm going to outline his side fins. Nope, mind you, this is much faster than you on somebody else's face, so just bear with me. And there's his other side fin. There you go. All right, now we are going to give him a little bit of personality with his face. So we're going to make some cute cartoony eyes. And I like to make big pupils for cartoony eyes. 
There we go. Super cute big eyes. And I'm going to go over the tops. <laughs> There's his funny cute little eyes. And just even them out. And we're going to make a little smile. A little smirk he's got going on. Now, to play up his eyes a bit, I'm going to go ahead and take the white that's still on my number five round brush. And I'm going to put some little white dots in his eyes so they have a little bit of sparkle. And there, his eyes look so funny um, and cute. And you can highlight his mouth a little if you'd like. Just a little bit there. And a little underneath. That's going to fade into the black a bit. So what I'm going to do, so um, and this design's pretty much done except for glitter. I'm just going to outline some of the bubbles um, in my own time. And I'm going to show you what the design looks like when it's all finished. Because um, I know that it's, it's a bit hard to see them with this lighting situation that I have going on. And I'm going to outline these fins down here while I am at it. The purple ones, the rainbow purple ones that I used on the sides. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay, so for the sake of things showing up on the camera, um, I took a moment to just go over my bubbles so that they really show up. Of course, you wouldn't do this at an event because it would take quite a lot of time, um, and that's not the most practical thing to do. Um, but now I'm just going to finish this up with some glitter and some stars so everything's really sparkly. I'm just loading my um, number two round, and I'm just making four and five point stars. And I'm just going to add some glitter. I've got blue glitter um, to go over my eyes. So there it is with the gems and all the glitter and all the bubbles really popping. And finally, if you want to, um, give yourself some rainbow lipstick to go with the design. A good way to do that is to just take your 3 quarter inch square brush load it with the rainbow colors you'd like. I've got a lot of blues and purples and greens in here. So I think I'm going to use this um, split cake and I'm actually going to use some gold and orange to make my lip color. So just load this back and forth. Of course, in an event, you'd want to use a Q-tip, but since I'm painting my own face or if you're painting your child's face for fun, um, you can do it this way. So I'm going to take this. It's got a little green on it. I'm going to touch my lips and you can leave the center pink. So it's more rainbowy if you'd like. And just give yourself a lip smack. It gets a little more rainbowy. All right, everybody. I am Fairy Meadow. Thank you so much for watching on behalf of myself and facepaintingtips.com. I hope you like my rainbow fish face painting design. Um, thank you again and have a wonderful day. Bye.